Hello, everyone. I would like to welcome you in the main hall of the Faculty of Economics and Administration here in Brno. As you can see, the faculty is rather empty now, and that's caused by the current pandemic situation. However, this will not stop us from enjoying this presentation. Let's get into it. My name is Adela, and I'm a Czech student. I live in Brno for two years, and I've been studying the Public Economics and Administration program. At the same time, I work as an intern at the international office of this faculty. This also brought me to this presentation today. And what can you look forward to? After my short introduction, my colleague Karel will speak about the faculty itself and about the programs which are held in English and which are offered to our applicants. After that, I'm going to lead an interview with one of our international students, Samir, who is from Azerbaijan. We are going to speak not only about the studies, but also about the arrival process, the accommodation, students' life, and much more. So stay tuned. At the end of our presentation, Samir will show us the faculty's premises, and inclu including the library, classrooms, and much more. So now I would like to give the floor to my colleague Karel, who is going to speak about the English programs and about the faculty. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Karel. Uh, actually, I work uh, at the international office here and I'm responsible for the admission process. So I will be the first person you will get in contact with uh, when you decide to apply it with us. I'm really looking forward to that. Now, I would like to shortly uh, present you the programs that we have here at the faculty. Currently, we are offering two different bachelor degree programs. These are business management and finance, economics and public, public policy. Uh, these are bachelor programs, so it takes three years uh, to finish them. We are also offering four different master degree programs. So these are business management, finance, economics, public finance and economics. As I mentioned, these are master programs, so you would need two years to successfully finish them uh, with us. Have you chosen one already? That's great. Now you just need to be careful uh, about the application deadlines. There are actually two application rounds uh, throughout the year. You can start your study in spring or you can start your study in autumn. If you want to start in autumn with us already, uh, you need to apply from December 15 until April 15. These are the deadlines. If you want to start a little bit later, for example, in spring, uh, you need to apply from June 15 until the October. These deadline, deadlines are fixed. The application procedure is completely online. You don't have to travel anywhere. Uh, you can apply uh, from your home. Uh, there are no entrance exams necessary. You just need to apply the required documents. And it's, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you need to apply them in our information system completely online. You can find all the information here at these web pages. Uh, this is the faculty web page. Uh, and you can find a description of the procedure there. I would also like to mention uh, that the admission decision process uh, is managed continuously. Uh, so you don't have to wait until the deadline uh, for the result of your admission or no admission. Um, you will know them in like four or five weeks after you submit your apl application. So the sooner you apply, the better, the sooner you know the results. Okay. If admitted, and we hope so, uh, I will be sending you more, more information uh, on the arrival process, let's say. It will be information on uh, visa procedure because we try to guide you through the visa uh, as much as we can. We will be also sending you uh, documents that you need for the visa application. I will send you more information on accommodation because as an international student, you will be offered a place in a dorm and you will see the dorms later on um, in the stream. Uh, we will ask you also to pay the tuition fee. The tuition fee is 3,500 euros per one academic year. Uh, this applies to all the mentioned programs. And the last one are scholarships. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really cover the scholarship. Or we don't really offer the scholarship that would cover the whole tuition for you but we are offering several scholarships uh, that will help you with some of your living costs. There is, for example, social scholarship, uh, where you can get up to 800 euros per semester. 
There is merit-based scholarship for really diligent students with good study results, and you can get there up to uh, 2,000 euros per the whole study. Or there is accommodation scholarship uh, where you will receive 120 euros per each semester. So this is uh, all from me now. Now I would like to ask Adela to take over again, uh, and maybe you will get some uh, more information from one of our current international students. So thank you. So hello again. Um, now we are going to have an interview with Samir, who is from Azerbaijan. Uh, I, would also, I would like to mention that, as Karel said, you can always write an email if you have problems or questions. He is here for the students and he will always help you. So now let's get into the interview. I'm going to invite Samir. Hi. Hello. So hello, Samir. I was really looking forward to this interview. Um, at the beginning, I would like you to briefly introduce yourself and to speak a bit about how you get how you got here and what you're studying. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, it was I'm some sorry. Yeah, problem. there were some problems. We are sorry for that. Uh, yes. Uh, could you so, please ask me again? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ask you again. Um, please introduce yourself briefly so that our viewers know who you are and mm -hmm. what you're studying. Uh, once more, hello again, everyone. My name is Samir. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm from Azerbaijan and currently I'm studying at the Faculty of Economics and Administration. Uh, I'm already in the second year of my master's here and I'm studying in the field of finance, finance program. Mm -hmm. So you're going to finish your studies this academic year, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, Samir, how did you learn about the university? I mean, more, more precisely about the faculty and mm -hmm. the program. Uh, honestly, I have been searching for uh, different programs for a long time mm -hmm. and I was using some different study platforms and one, one of those platforms uh, helped me to find out about the Muni. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the key aspects of choosing this university was the country itself, uh, because I had some really positive thoughts about the Czech Republic before. And uh, of, co of course, I met all of my expectations after coming here, after my arrival. And the country itself is one of the safest countries in the world. And therefore, uh, it's situated in the middle of the Europe. So it's perfect for the traveling, mm -hmm. as, I want, as, as I like traveling. And additionally, the living costs are actually quite low here mm -hmm. in the comparison of the Western countries. So that was one of the main reasons why I came here. Masaryk University as a whole uh, belongs to between the top world universities. And, and when it comes to finance program, uh, I have evaluated compulsory courses, which list is available online. And after that, uh, I can also evaluate, I also evaluated the job opportunities, which I can apply later on. And after all of this evaluation, I've decided to come here. And of course, it was the good choice. Yeah, that's great. Yes. We are glad to hear that, that yeah, your exactly. choice was lucky. And now, how do you like the city? Because, you know, the studies are not only about the school, but also yeah, exactly. if you move here, it's important to like the city. I completely fell in love with the city center, also with the nature. And so what about you? Yeah, exactly. I really love Brno. One of the most important reasons uh, reason is that the city is not that big and not overcrowded as some big megapolis. Yeah, right. So uh, Brno is a student city, and you can find all necessary, uh, all necessary things for students, starting from study purposes like libraries, computer computer rooms, to sports, bars, and restaurants. So the city, you can reach the city center from all parts of the Brno within 20, 30 minutes without mm -hmm. any delay. And of course, I should mention that Brno also the international city. So it's really convenient for the international students as well. Yeah, as you said, yeah, the, yeah, the place is exactly. great. So you decided to study here, to study in Brno. Mm -hmm. And how was the process before your arrival? I mean, you know, Karel mentioned the visa process, also yeah, the exactly. application. Uh, before my arrival, I was in touch with my study coordinator, with Karel, mm -hmm. whom you already met. And he helped me uh, with all documentation, and even he supported me with visa procedures. And I would like to point out that in order to receive visa to Czech Republic, you should apply two, three months before your planned arrival, mm -hmm. as the evaluation process of your documents can take a little bit longer. Other than that, I didn't have any kind of serious issues with the visa procedure, and thanks to the perfect cooperation with the faculty staff. Yeah, I completely agree. If our viewers apply, then make sure that you start with the visa process at, on time so mm -hmm. that you make sure that you can arrive. Exactly. Um, Samir, how did your study start? You came here and did anyone help you? How did you mm -hmm. get to know the school system, you know, the school 
information system? How did mm. you choose your um, your courses? Mm. Was there as anyone? I, yeah, as I mentioned uh, already, before my arrival, I was in touch with study coordinators mm -hmm. and they helped me with documentation. But support was not only provided before, but also after my arrival here. Mm -hmm. Thanks to faculty coordinators, I didn't have any problems with adaptation and school system. They did their best to help students to feel themselves like at home. Uh, I would like to also mention that uh, there is a student organization which is called Erasmus Student Network, which is organizing different events for new joint students or like all kinds of st all students in order to not feel themselves alone here. They also offer a buddy service for the students. I will just explain what is it. Buddy is a local Czech student who is uh, assigned to you. And this uh, person is meeting you when you arrive and solving all your necessary problems with you, like going to uh, buying some, getting some Isaac or buying some transportation ticket. And everything uh, is, uh, let's say, supported by the buddy system. Yeah, so it's great when you have someone here. Yes. So you, yeah, so you can visit ESN and they will help you. Exactly. Right? Also, our office. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I cannot imagine studies without my friends. Was it difficult to find friends because you are new here? You know, mm -hmm. I know I've heard about the ESN, but mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, your classmates are mm -hmm. there good friends? Uh, yes, it was easy for me as I was uh, participating in almost all events which I've already mentioned mm -hmm. ESN, and thanks to that, I found so many friends. But I should mention that uh, during our meetings with our faculty coordinators, we became really good friends with my group mates as we were dealing with documentation stuff all together. That's why we became really good friends. So it was not that hard for me to find yeah, friends. Yeah, so then the studies are easier. Yes, yeah? exactly. Yeah. And so except the time spent it at school and with your friends, what do you usually do in your free time? Mm -hmm. I really like actually walking around the city and uh, exploring new interesting places. I would like to mention that Czech Republic has really beautiful nature and I would recommend to everyone to go for hiking in their free time and see all this beauty with their eyes, with their own eyes. And I should also men mention that I joined to ESN organization and I was participating there as volunteer and helping to new joint students with adaptation process. So as you see, I didn't let myself have some free time. Yeah. So, yeah. So firstly, you were the one who needed ESN and yes, then you were the one exactly. who was helping. Exactly. Well, it's great. Exactly. Um, and when you came here, how did you find the accommodation? Because I mm -hmm. have only a personal experience with the private flats, mm -hmm. but I've heard that there are dorms. So mm -hmm. how is it? Uh, before my arrival, our coordinators informed me about the dormitory options. Mm -hmm. They also informed me about the registration and deadlines of the dormitories. So as you, as you see, it was not hard for me to find accommodation here. And I would also say that Muni is offering dormitory to all students. And I would personally recommend to everyone to uh, take this opportunity and live in the dormitory. Because in dormitories, it's way too easy to find new friends. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting place there. And also, I would mention that uh, beside the dormitory option, there is one dormitory, which is called Vinarska. It's really close to here. And it takes literally five minutes to arrive from dormitory to the faculty. So it means that uh, you will have much longer sleep <laughs> and you can be really uh, prepared, well prepared for your courses. Yeah, so maybe I should have chosen dorms instead of the flats. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, you already spoke about the costs of living here. And um, I know that you can only maybe compare it to Azerbaijan, but would you say that the life here is expensive or? Uh, for me personally, it's not expensive. In general, Czech Republic, living costs in Czech Republic is uh, quite low. Mm -hmm. as I already mentioned when it comes to Western countries, yeah, Western European countries. Yeah. But of course, it depends on one's needs. So where you stay, what you eat, uh, and well, if you would travel a lot or mm -hmm. not, it depends on these uh, things. But in general, I can say that for students, there are so many discount options, such as transportation, such as uh, meals from canteens, or uh, even if you are buying the ticket to theater, uh, and you can uh, all, uh, let's say, use these op options or these opportunities to, uh, let's say, spend less money. And also supermarkets and dormitories are not expensive. Mm -hmm. So I would say in general, uh, 350, 400 euros mm -hmm. can be enough, but it depends of course on your base uh, yeah. needs, daily needs. So it's changing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, how are the teachers here? Are they you know, communicative? Mm -hmm. Do they help you if you mm -hmm. have a problem? Can you write them an email, come to their office and yeah. talk? Yeah, of course. As you know, due to coronavirus, which exists in all around the world, currently we switch to online education. But before Corona, we had face-to-face -face courses, and I should say that teachers are so professional, and they are doing really their best uh, to maintain the high level of education, even when it's online. 
So I'm really happy that from the, our teachers, from my yeah, teachers. Yeah, from my perspective, I have also the best experience with yes. teachers. They are always here for us. Yes, yeah, exactly. that's great. Exactly. And um, except the studies, you said you don't have that much free time. Yes. But do you have a job? Uh, yes, I have a job. And I would say that in general, uh, finding the job in Czech Republic, in Brno, I would say, it depends on the type of job which you are looking for. Mm -hmm. I would say that uh, more than 70% of the faculty students are finding their jobs in the final semester of their studies. But they, of course, it depends individually. And uh, what's really great that in Czech Republic, you can work also in unlimited working hours, uh, which, which is really great opportunity for all of them. And additionally, you just need to scan job offers uh, really often and have a look to the uh, to job offers. And thanks to that, I also have the job right now. Yeah, and do your classmates work too, or are you? Uh, some of one? them are working, but some of them not. Yeah. But it depends on their needs. Some of them yeah. want only to focus on studies, and some of yeah. them do both but at the same time. But it is possible yes, to it is work possible. and study at the of same time. Of course, time. it's possible. Yeah. So then it's good. And uh, my last question is about the current situation, mm -hmm. which is worldwide known. And mm -hmm. um, so how is it? Is it difficult? I mean, do you have all the materials, the communication with your classmates and teachers? Is it OK or mm -hmm. were they prepared? OK, as you know, our field economy requires uh, lots of practice uh, working in computer labs or some computer rooms. And but let's say before Corona, we had face to face courses and it was pretty good pretty good, uh, the courses which we had. Mm -hmm. But after Corona, when we switched to online, I should say that both online and face-to-face -face courses quality was the same. Teachers are really well prepared. And uh, additionally, we have access to all documents, all study materials which we need online and all the time when we need. Uh, and of course, when you can organize some online consultations with teachers whenever you need. So I would say that the quality is the same and I don't see any difference. The only thing that I want to mention that mm -hmm. I'm really missing to sitting behind the desk with my group mates and listening to the teacher from our uh, amazing lecture halls. That's the only thing I'm missing, but I hope that in next semester or in the future, we will be uh, really, we will return back to normal education. Yeah, that's, that's the positive thing. I also like that. Um, even before the whole pandemic situation, mm -hmm. the um, lectures were to be seen online later, mm -hmm. so it was good. And also the documents were to found to be found online. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, so I like that. Exactly. So this was the interview with Samir. Um, now I'm going to ask him to show us the premises of the faculty. So Samir, please. Of course, I would be happy to show what our faculty building can offer. So let's do some uh, small tour around the faculty. So let's start. As you can see right now, we are in the main hall. Uh, this is the main hall, hall where we all gather before and after our classes uh, to chat with our friends and do some brainstorming regarding our courses. As you can see, it's quite spacious and full of the daylight. Thanks to the rooftop window on the top, as you can see. And thanks to that, we have really, really good opportunity here to sit in comfortable environment. As you see, also, we have really comfortable chairs here where we can sit before and after our classes. So I already tried it so many times and it's really comfortable. I should mention that. So on the left, you can see that we have some also a small second floor here. And if you need to print some documents or to have a look to some important information before your classes, you don't need to go to library because we have some uh, pieces there where you can get access to all scientific journals, databases, which you need and without any problems and of course free of charge. Additionally, I also should mention that maybe economic students will understand how it's important. We have also Bloomberg terminal uh, room here where you can get access to Bloomberg platform free of charge and do of your tasks without any problems and get access to Bloomberg platform. So now I would like to show you our main lecture hall. Let me show you our let me show it to you as you will spend most of the time here, hopefully after Corona. Come on in. Come on here. So welcome to our main lecture hall. As you see, it's huge and it's also equipped with all necessary tools which you need during your courses in order to create comfortable environment for all our students. The lectures are also recorded. So I would like to mention that you don't need to go to the courses in order to see which courses you had, which lesson you had. 
So of course, when you are home at home, you can watch all these lectures later, especially nowadays when there is corona exists in all around the world, it's a really good opportunity. But I should mention that we already had it before, not only now. Oh, after all of this talking, I kind of get a little bit thirsty. Now, come on here, I will show you one important feature of our faculty. Luckily, we have this corner here. Come on, follow me. We have this corner here, and you can use this corner in order to get filtered sparkling water free of charge. I will show you how it works. And you can use it uh, for free, and you can get some uh, nice sparkling filtered water, and by doing so, you can easily uh, reduce the waste of plastic in our environment. So now let's continue. Uh, when, when we are moving to library, I would like to point out this small tiny cafe on the right where you can get small quick snacks and coffee. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's closed right now, but uh, I, we hope that in the spring it will be open for our students and they have really delicious coffee. I would recommend to everyone. Now, uh, let me show you our uh, library. It's really quite important for our students in this place. As you, you can see, we have these lockers here and you can put all your necessary stuff here and you don't need to take all of them to the libraries. And we have lockers here where you can lock all of your equipment and you can leave it here and just go enter to your library. Now, welcome to our library. library. Here, you can get all necessary books which you need. And in this corner, which I'm showing you, uh, here you can find all PCs, uh, data, all PCs, uh, printers, which you need. And you can search for exact book, which is situated in exact location of the library. And you don't need to bother yourself with finding the book. Other than that, I would like to point out that we have also study boxes here. And by using these study boxes, you can brainstorm with your friends, your courses, and you can do it easily. As you know, in library, we should be silent. But in these boxes, this is sound resistant, and you can easily talk with your friends and communicate all your necessary stuff. Now, I would like to point out you one important thing. As you know, dormitories are an important part of our life. And as I already mentioned during my interview, I would like to show you our dormitory. Are you wondering how dormitories are close to the faculty? I will show you. In case if you want to come to your classes in your pajamas, this is really good opportunity for you. But I would not recommend that. Come on in. Come, come, come. As an international student, you will be offered a room in your dormitory. And you can see, this is the Nazca dormitory, this building, which is really close to our faculty. It takes just three minutes of your face and to here. Okay, so you can, uh, there are some technical issues. Okay, so I'm just uh, continuing what I said already. And in this building, which I've already shown you, you can easily get to the class in just three minutes and you don't need to worry about the being late. You can just literally come with your pajamas, as I already told you. And there is also a big cafeteria where you can use it for your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But please note that also, this is all subsidized by the Masaryk University. And I will also mention that in the first floor, we have an international office where in this office, you can solve all your issues with our faculty coordinators and it's pretty convenient to reach out there. Now we end our faculty tour. That was really my pleasure to show you around the faculty. And I'm really glad that I had this opportunity to show you. So thanks for watching and we wish you have a nice day and see you once in our faculty. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.